guys so I am like on a filming roll like I filmed two other videos today I'm so proud of myself but today is going to be a requested video because some of you guys have asked me like what do I do as a teacher what is my schedule like and just things like that to do with my job. So I thought I would like let you guys know and address that in this video today. I personally was very curious about what I would be doing like day to day because even though I know I wanted to come to Korea to teach English and I knew I'd be teaching English, I was very unsure about how the system was and what exactly I would be doing and how I would teach them and what the materials would be like and things like that. I never really found much information or people talking about things like this a lot so I was still kind of in the dark when I came to Korea and it was kind of like I got on my feet running like oh this is how it is okay cool I would say that every single school is different so whilst this is my experience it's not going to be the same for you and everyone's level differs I know that now um slowly they're trying to phase out like the jobs a lot of like, high school jobs are going so maybe if you're applying for like a program you might not actually be placed in a high school position because a lot of those have been cut now I teach elementary school so I teach like the little the wee little kids until they're about I think 13 Korean age so they're about 12 or so my oldest so I teach third to sixth grade first I'm going to start off talking about like my hours and like my timetable and things like that so as I said it's going to differ from every school and every level you teach but for me who teaches elementary school I have to be at work by 8 30 in the morning like sometimes I'm there by like 8 32 like I'll be a little bit late but it's not too bad because my school is pretty lax some people might get in trouble for being late like I am late sometimes not all the time sometimes but depending on how lax your school is you may get in trouble if you're late but my school's cool with it like I turn up I've turned up 10 minutes late before but no one's ever said anything so I don't know I try not to be late but Generally 8.30 is when you have to be in school by. Right? I know for elementary and a few of my friends who teach this level 2 have to be at work by 8.30 but again it might not be the same for everyone. I think like middle school they have to be at work earlier. I'm not sure about that um, but yeah. So yeah you have to be at work by 8.30 and generally you leave by 4.30 for me. I leave at 4.30 and trust me we leave at 4.30 on the dot. So like by 4.28 we are packing up our bags and my co-teachers are like let's go get out of here. Like, especially on a Friday we're packing up by like 4.25 and we are out of that office. Like we don't stay behind unless we need to. So those are the hours generally. I think you have to work, it's not contract how many hours you have to work. So it, you're contractually obliged to do all of that stuff. So depending on what level you work will depend on how long your classes last for. So like I said I work elementary and elementary lessons are 40 minutes and then middle school is 45 and high school is 50 minutes so that's kind of like the timing of the lesson so I don't know high school people have it like the worst I guess because you have like 10 more minutes but it makes all the difference if you had a really long day um so I will go through my timetable with you guys so you can get an idea of roughly what my week is like but as I said and I will continue to say through this video everyone's experience is going to differ okay so as I said I start at I have to get to work by 8 30 and I have different periods during the day so um, first period Monday Tuesday I have no classes and usually I will spend it like on the web or like doing any last minute lesson changes or whatever so the first period starts at 8.50 even though you have to get to work at 8.30 but it starts at 8.50 and as I said Monday Tuesday I'm free and then I go have my lessons um, which are 40 minutes each and after each lesson even though you might have back-to-back -back lessons and those are the hard days let me tell you some even though you might have back-to-back -back lessons um, after each lesson there's a 10 minute break so um, each grade has like a teacher's staff room so me and my co-teacher will go we'll chill there and like, have a drink of tea or coffee <sighs> well sometimes I do feel like I need one but yes <laughs> we will have like a rest for 10 minutes and then go to the next lesson so you're not just teaching like back-to-back -back lessons like that so you will have like a break in between and like on for example on a Monday I have four lessons back-to-back -back, and then after that I have lunch at 12 50 so that's my lunch time and then Tuesday I have like 
the free period in the morning and then I have three lessons back to back and then I have lunch lunch is from on my timetable it says 12 10 to 12 50 and then um well 12 50 is when the next lesson starts so it's probably like 12 10 to like 12 45 and then after that I have another lesson then Tuesday Wednesday I have pretty much a full day because I don't have the first period free so I have four lessons back to back starting at 8.40 then I have lunch and then I have another lesson afterwards Thursday is more of the same except I finish by teaching lessons by 11 when does it say by 12 so I will like 12.10 is when I finish lessons so I have lunch and then I'm free for the rest of the day and then Friday is like my worst day even though there's like the, the cutest grade because Friday I teach fourth grade so uh, not fourth grade third grade and they're just so adorable so it doesn't make it so bad but I teach five lessons of third graders back to back and then I finish by 12.50 so I have lunch at yeah 12 is when i have lunch on a friday so usually everything is done like lunch teaching by um 1 30 pretty much yeah 1 30 is like the latest time i'm doing anything and then i'm in the office so you can imagine i have a lot of free time because if i have to leave work at 4 30 and i finish everything by 1 30 then i have like three and a half hours or is it three hours or whatever i have all that time um to do pretty much nothing so usually i just spend it like preparing for the next lesson or on facebook or like studying Korean that's what I'm recently doing like just study 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 Korean that's what I've been doing with that free time but it's really much time you should be using to prepare for like your next lessons although I don't always use that time wisely as I've mentioned I teach third to fourth grade and like the lessons are scattered between like during the week so like um, as I went through my lessons like Monday is all fourth grade four fourth grade classes Tuesday I have one fourth grade class three sixth grade classes Wednesday I have one fifth grade class um three sixth grade classes and then after lunch a fifth grade class thursday i have one fourth grade class and then all three fifth grade classes and then friday is all third grade so that's pretty much how my timetable is and you'll notice some grades have like six classes in a grade and then some have five um i don't really know why they split it up like that like there's for the fourth grade there are six classes so there's four one and then to four six and then same for the sixth grade but fifth grade is only five and third grade is only five as well so i don't know why they do it like that um i have no clue so i mentioned that i eat lunch and um generally you will eat lunch with your staff members and we all like wait in the office for a few people because it's a collective society people do things together as a group so when it's lunchtime and people don't have lessons for that lunch period we'll all go together um out of the office and go and have lunch in the canteen or the cafeteria we'll have lunch together and um we do sometimes we'll leave together as well like if they finish early and i'm like still talking because there's a, another native teacher but she teaches the after school um and i will sit and talk with her because everyone just talks in korean They're like wah, wah, say yo, wah, 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 and i'm just like i don't know what you guys are talking about so i will talk with the other native teacher and we'll eat lunch together um or if like i finished before my staff members um, in, in my office then I will wait for them to finish and then we'll all go together because I still really know the etiquette of if I could just leave um, usually I want to go like oh you could just go and I'll just go so we will all eat together and you actually pay for your lunches here so they take it out of your paycheck and it's not that expensive it's probably like I think around 50,000 won a month so it's like I think it works to about 3,000 won a day for lunch but I'm not have actually sure I have to I'm not actually gonna check but it works out to about 3,000 won a day um, some people do bring in their own lunch um, you can do that I haven't started doing that yet although I would like to do that from time to time so you can request to stop for them to stop taking out the money for the lunch and you can bring in your own lunch if you wish to do so but I would like to do that but it's just like I have to get up early and pack all of that stuff when I can just go to the cafeteria and have food so um <clears throat> that is that option so I was asked about like lesson planning and stuff like this so with elementary school um it's not too stressful 
um, like you're not going to give out things like homework because that's up to your co-teachers because if you teach the timetable that I like I teach on you will only see certain grades once a week so giving out homework isn't very productive because you it'll be a whole week before you see them again and they might have lost the papers and stuff and you're really there to like do speaking stuff so you don't really need to if you like, you don't really need to give out homework because it's I don't, know, I don't give out homework and a lot of people don't give out homework if you wish to i guess you could if you see some grades often um that's up to you but homework is not really something that you're expected to give out um people won't be surprised if you don't do it so in terms of what you'll actually be teaching the kids generally if you teach elementary you will probably have a book you have to go by so i have there's a different book for each grade i actually have my teacher's guide here this is the sixth grade teacher's guide teacher's guide and so this is just an example um, and the, there's a teacher's guide and there's a student book so there's the book the students have and there's one a different one for each grade obviously um, these books I could do a whole rant video about how utterly crap these books are like I kid you not I have a unit on how do you say that in Korean Please tell me, why are we having them learn this? How do you say it in Korean? How about how do you say it in English? Why is that unit even there? Like, it's such a crappy unit. There's not enough vocab. I'm not going to go into a rant about how bad the books are because they are really bad. Like, I can't. I can't with these books. But, yes, you might have to dispel your disbelief in the crappiness of these textbooks and you have to teach them them. So what I generally do is, um, my, me and my co-teachers, I will ask her at the beginning of the week or a few days before lesson what part of the book she's at and she'll give me like for instance I teach the sixth grade it's the sixth grade sixth grade book um it's the only grade I teach by myself um so for this class my co-teacher is pretty hands-off she'll like walk around in the back but I prepare all the lessons if I'm doing this like if she's teaching with me for the sixth grade I teach everything by myself and I will just ask her a few days before like um what pages do i need to prepare for and then because the books are split up into i think five or six periods and each period is a different week so the book should cover about one unit should last for about a month or so and um so the two pages in a book like the two pages like this is supposed to cover one lesson so I will usually ask her what am I doing and each period has like a different theme. So like the first period is usually um, like the listening and getting the kids used to the new vocabulary and then the second period like listening speaking. Third period is like um, they learn like songs and chants I think and then the fourth period is like writing and then fifth period is reading I think so that's how they're split up in the book so that each period has like a different um, thing they have to learn or way they have to learn and I will kind of try and base my lessons around that so for instance um, also I just want to add in um, the books actually give you like a lesson plan so if you really want to be super lazy you can just literally copy the lesson plans from these books because they have lesson plans in there and that's what some teachers do do they will just do the lessons from the book but the lessons are really bad like really bad um like some of the activities are too short the kids will get through them very quickly so you have to i supplement a lot like even sometimes i might use the book as a guide but i will make my whole another whole another lesson without using the lesson plan in the books or even using the book at all um because it's just some left units are just really really bad i can't even stress this enough guys i can't it's so bad so i actually get help from wegook.org which is a site a lot of us um, foreign teachers here in Korea use because what people do is um, a lot of people will supplement their materials and activities and games um, and not do the ones from the book they will find like really fun games and like western games that we use like taboo and stuff and battleship and find ways to tweak it to use in the classroom and I for a lot of those I will use that and for instance if the kids are being introduced to new vocab um, people upload their own um, 
PPTs and stuff. I don't really use those. Like I will use I find activities. That's what I mainly use Wake Up for. And maybe some ideas of things I could do for a lesson. But a lot of the PPTs I won't straight up like use because I like to make my own and some of them are really uh, badly made. So I like to do my own sometimes. Um so that's an option. So waygook.org is a site that will be very helpful. And it's a forum as well, so you can get loads of information about living in Korea and all that stuff. But that's that's not the point. That's not the point. So yes, yeah, so you will have a teacher's guide and the kids will have their own book. Maybe I'll insert a video at work of me filming the books and you can see what they look like inside. Um because they're not very really difficult, they're very simple and a lot of them don't even really have much like the lower level books, third grade and stuff, they don't really even have any writing, they're just pictures and stuff like that. So you mainly have to know what you're teaching <clears throat> to teaching the kids. Um because they won't have any written things down. So yes, that's me on lesson planning and stuff, but I know some people actually do have to write out their lesson plans, even though they do teach like elementary level. Um, for me, my co-teachers are pretty laxed. Um, they will ask me like, what are you doing? Like for the sixth grade, she'll say, okay, after we've discussed the part in the book I will do, she will ask me like Monday, which is the day before I start teaching the sixth grade classes, she'll say, okay, what are we doing for the sixth grade tomorrow? And I will tell her, she'll give me feedback and say if she feels it will work and if it might not work and yada, yada, yada. Uh, Cause she's obviously way more experienced than I am. I'm still learning. And so some things she knows will work and some things she knows won't work. So we will discuss it, but I don't actually have to hand in any lesson plans. Some people's schools are really strict with things like that and make them hand in lesson plans for like, if not like a few lessons like every single if you have a really mean school they will ask you to hand in every single lesson plan that is not cool okay but i have heard stories i could tell you some things i don't have to really hand in any lesson plans so for the sixth grade i did mention that i teach by myself but like i have my co-teacher for the third and fourth grade who i'm actually really close with actually um she takes on a more um What's the word? She is more involved in the class and I'm more of like the game teacher, activity teacher, which is, I'm not really like, I think, cause I'm, I'm actually, I've actually re-signed with my school. I'm staying in Korea for a second year, yay. Um, but, and I wanna make some changes to that, but she has me more of like the activities teacher. She does the new vocabulary and she does things like that. And then afterwards I get the game time with the kids. Um, but I don't like really being seen as the game fun fun teacher too much so I will probably ask that to change now that I have my bearings in my school um, so yeah the different co-teachers will have different teaching styles with you and it just depends as well because like I know with my sixth grade co-teacher I have one just one fourth grade class with her and for that one as well I'm like even though I teach the whole of the sixth grade classes on my own with that fourth grade one fourth grade class we teach together she actually will to take most of the lesson and then I will do the activities and games so yes um so everyone's experience is going to be different some people don't even get to teach a class on their own at all some people are literally just standing there in the classroom and will be used as like a tape recorder now repeat after the native teacher and things like that so I do get to do a lot more than some people like get to do but also get to do a lot less so as I said it depends on your school so that is all I have to talk about in terms of how my teaching life is here in Korea it's not too stressful at all I really lucked out with my school because I get along really well with my co-workers um, I have a pretty good working relationship with most of them um, even though like some of you probably thought I my co just hate me from the hair video but it's not like that it was just talking about saying experiences it doesn't mean that they're really mean to me all the time or anything like that um, I get on generally pretty well I have three co-teachers and I get on pretty well with um, all of them we have a good working relationship my school is very relaxed the principal and vice principal they don't really care about much like if I need to uh, go and leave early for the bank or like recently I had to get a medical uh, check for the re-sign of my new contract and I was like I need to go early they're like go some people's schools are like we will take this out of your vacation holiday or things like that so um yeah it depends on your school it's a phrase I keep saying but it d really does like your experience can be utterly changed because of your school and I don't want to scare anyone but some people have really 
really bad experiences to the point where they like run away and do a midnight run that's what they're called and some people have fantastic experiences which is why I'm staying with my school for another year because I, I really like it and I the kids really like me um a lot of them like when I don't turn up to certain lessons they'll ask my coach like where is she like they're so cute so I love the students except sixth grade they're going now so it doesn't matter and yeah so I really like teaching at my school so I feel like there are probably a few things I've missed out like a few points but I'm not too sure um, if there's anything you feel like I haven't addressed then you can leave it below and I will try and answer that as best as I can but that was my video on my, I guess, teaching life in the career. And I will talk to you guys next time. Bye.